Hello, this is Christy, and in this short video, I will show you how I'm creating a virtual background image for Zoom. Some of the Zoom, the Zoom software and some of the other uh, chat and meeting software now support virtual backgrounds, maybe a static image or even video. So a lot of people kind of go and download free ones or they just use the ones that come with the software. But if you want to give your videos a more corporate look, you can actually create your own background even if it's just a static image um, and you, you can put your logo on it and your website address or your name or whatever you want. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how I'm making a simple one using Zara. So let's get to it. I'm going to close this window for now. I have Zoom open and I have Zara open here. So the first thing you want to do is change the size of your page to the size of the screen because you want to export the image or you can just create a rectangle that has the size of the screen and preferably you just right click on the page and this is a blank new document page options and here you see I have A4, but I don't want to have A4. I want to have an HD screen, which is 1920 by 1080 pixels. So if you uh, look in here, there isn't a setting for that in Zara. So you're just going to have to create a custom page size. And we will just put here 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels. Okay. And then click apply. So this is my HD screen image. Um, that I'm going to export at the end or as an alternative, you, you don't care about the page size. You just make it a very large page size. doesn't matter. And you just create a rectangle that has the same size. So you just go to the rectangle tool, create a rectangle here and just change it to 1920 uh, by 1080 pixels like that. Um, if you find it hard to see the units here, go to utilities options, and then go to units and for the page units instead of centimeters just put pixels apply okay and now your dimensions is are in the uh, pixels here so this this is it this is your uh, screen now of course we want to use maybe white for that or a light gray um, it's your choice and in my demonstration video here today i'm going to create a background for my friend chris menard for his video meetings he has a channel you can check it out and i have his logo here in another document i'm going to copy this uh this logo i'm going to just select everything and group it first Control c to copy go back to my document and paste so this is the logo now you need to pay attention because um, if you just put the logo in the corner like this, for example, um, it's fine. It, it may be a bit small. So you need to look at the size of your uh, pers person on screen. So, of course, you don't want to put your logo in the middle because, of course, it's not going to be visible. So as a guideline, let me just draw here. This is kind of a rough shape of where a person kind of occupies the space on this uh, screen. So when you are in the view, you anything behind you here will not be visible so there's no point putting the logo there so what i choose to do is i put the logo on the left or right and the, maybe the uh, website address if you have one on the other side so this area here top right and top left are the most sort of blank areas that you're not likely to cover with your head or your body so i'm going to just put the logo here on the left i'm just going to keep it fairly large because you know if people look at your video maybe it's very tiny it's in a small uh, preview screen uh, or a small video if there's other participants in your meeting so you want to have the logo kind of large so that people can see it clearly and also on the right side i'm just going to type his um, website address like so and possibly make it larger again you need to steer clear of the sort of head area so if you have a website address that's kind of long um, it may not work for you like that so um, if you you know you can put it even here under the uh, the logo like that so your choice uh, you can use a bold text or font um, just to give it that extra um, thickness like that so let's see so i'm guessing i'm guessing this might be okay um 
or slightly smaller. We will test it in a minute. So this will be uh, one of the backgrounds. I'm going to delete this uh, silhouette here. So this might be the background you can use or you can align everything at the top just to keep the website address as far away from the head as possible. And you can see in Zara, it uses these guidelines. It shows you these guidelines to when you are aligning the objects together. So I believe this is a good layout like this. I'm going to make the color of the text the same blue as in the logo. So this is my background here. I'm going to save this. So all you do is just click on the background uh, rectangle that you've set and go to file export or export JPEG. So I'm saving this image on the desktop in a folder I created background light. Let's call it light because it's the light one and I'm going to click on it and make it dark blue now. Pick the color from the logo and as you can see my, my logo is now getting lost in the background so it may not work uh, very well with this version of the logo so maybe I can do a green one or a dark blue one and make the part of the logo uh, white like that. So I can make the logo white if I want to. Make sure you ungroup it first maybe to keep the other colors together. So there you go. I've made a light version of the logo and I'm gonna just change the color of the website as well. So now I've made a dark version of the logo, uh, uh, of the background with the logo on it and click on this and export. And let's call it back ground dark okay so we have two images notice that in my jpeg export here the size of the image is the one i want 1920 by 1080 pixels and if you want a higher quality you just go to the options here and pull this slider all the way to the top uh, the end of 100 quality export now and let's go now to zoom and see how these backgrounds are looking so i'm in zoom now and uh, you go to the settings icon on the top right click on the settings and then you don't have to actually get on a call to test this go to virtual background so i have this normal sort of office background set at the moment i'm going to go to the uh, plus sign here add image and then navigate to my folder on my desktop okay so let's choose the light background first click on this and open and here we go so my uh, my body is not in the way um, I could have made the logo even uh, the the logo even larger maybe the uh, text of the website larger let's try the dark version too. click on the plus again add image background dark and open. I think this works better now. Uh, I'm getting a bit lost in the background there, but I think it looks quite cool. So when I'm in a new in the next call, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show this background to my uh, participants, to uh, the uh, people I'm talking to. And there you go. I've got my logo and my website on it. So what you need to remember, you don't have to really do this in Zara. You can do it in Photoshop. You can do it in GIMP or any other image processing software that allows you to create a uh, rectangular uh, sort of surface and put your logo on top of it and export as a JPEG. And um, I will do another video shortly about how to make a video background with a uh, virtual background uh, as video with a logo overlay on top of it. So that's going to be even nicer. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please feel free to uh, subscribe to my channel to like and share my videos. And if you have any other ideas for videos you would like to see, uh, please uh, feel free to contact me graficious.co.uk and uh, see you next time. <music>